Hey, what's up guys, this is TM4K from Tech Entourage. Welcome to your channel. First of all, sorry for the absence of last week. Last week we had a very important project kickoff, so I had to work for extra hours to fulfill my duty. And as soon as I got some free time, here I am with a new episode and new tutorial. In today's episode, it's not going to be a 100% tutorial, but it's going to be uh, some kind of tips and tricks. We will talk about how to make your profiles work 100% as expected. We will go through some tips and tricks and setups that you have to do with your tasker and with some settings on your smartphone, starting from root, going to accessibility, permission and device administrator privilege. And in the last, we will go through how to become a tasker tester and to get the beta version of tasker and get the latest and the greatest from Tasker options that are still being tested on the beta version of Tasker. Some of the features or the privileges that we are going to be talking about today are already mentioned in another video, which you can find the link over here. You can check that video for more information. We will see all of that and more after the intro. As already mentioned, let's start with root option. Several months ago, I thought that my device is rooted. I checked that with the root checker application. It says your device is rooted, but secure settings cannot get a root access granted. So I discovered that I rooted my device in an improper way. So my device was not properly rooted. Now we'll go through how to root your device properly with Magic's application. To root your device using Magic's application, all you have to do is to follow the tutorial that have been posted in XDA Developers. I will put the link in the description below. It's so easy and simple. All you have to do is to download the stable version of Magix zip file and reboot to the recovery mode, flash the zip file and reboot back your phone. You will have your Magix application installed and root privilege will be granted. It's so easy. If you don't know how, just follow the steps that have been shown in this thread in XDA Developers. It's very detailed, very accurate. All the informations are here. All you need to do is just to download the file, reboot to the recovery mode, flash the zip file, and reboot back your phone and your device is rooted. Okay, since we have seen the root option and how to root your phone properly with Magix, two things are very important to make Tasker profiles work properly. One of them is the accessibility privilege for Tasker application and for Tasker plugins like Artivoice, Art and Artification, and other plugins that need the privilege of accessibility to be enabled. Also, we have the device administrator privilege which need to be enabled for also Tasker and Tasker plugins like Artivos and Art and Artification. We will see all of that right away. To ensure that Tasker application and Tasker plugins have the right privileges enabled, all you have to do is to go to settings and accessibility and you have to get sure that Tasker and Tasker plugin accessibility is on. For example, auto input, it's on. Auto notification, also it's on. Auto voice, also it's on, enabled. And 
task also its own enable also we need to make sure that tasker and some plugin have the device administrator privilege enabled so all you have to do go to settings security and location and device admin apps you can find it here and you can check it i have uh, several application which I have already enabled a device administrator for them by find my device automagic this one is for test and AirDroid uh, to get uh, the ability to a uh, mirror my smartphone to my laptop like I'm doing now for the sake of tutorials as you can see secure settings is a device administrator also secure tasks tasker and some other application make sure that the application that need device admin or not all the application i mean tasker application and tasker plugins that needs a uh, device admin privilege need to be enabled you have to check them and enable them after that we need to check secure setting application and system plus if you find system plus for example like it's like like this disabled you have to enable it by clicking enable and it will be enabled and you will get this check mark here and saying everything appears to be working if for some reasons you can't get this system plus module enabled you have to check your root sometimes you think that your smartphone is rooted but unfortunately it's not properly rooted like i have witnessed the case with my smartphone few months ago so i uh, rerouted the device using uh, magic's application and all goes fine after that and for tasker also this is very important a lot of people forget this preference and beginner mode you have to always check that beginner mode is not tick okay remove the check for beginner mode in order to get all your profiles working perfectly now let's jump to see how to become a tester tasker tester which means you will get the access to the beta version of tasker application which means you become a tester uh, to be more precise the new features added to tasker application are not that stable the legacy are all the same like the stable version of tasker but the new features added to tasker beta version are not that stable which means you are going to be testing them and if you want you can send bug reports to tasker automatically if one of the features or one of the options crash or something like that let's jump to my smartphone to see how to become a, a tasker tester if you want to be a tasker tester all you have to do is to go to play store and visit my apps and games and check the beta panel the beta panel as you can see you will find tasker update beta you can update it check update you will get the beta update for tasker application for the beta version of tasker uh, the legacy features are stable but the new added features which are still being tested are not that stable so you need to know what you are doing and you need to know the risks of that like this you can become a tester i will uh, share also a link in the description below how uh, to be a tester you have to visit some uh, google plus communities in order to get the uh, some links for uh, the beta versions so 
This is it for today's episode. For any further information, questions, or suggestions, please let us know in the comment section below. If you are new, as it's always been the case, consider subscribing. The subscribe button you can find it here, and also. By the end of this episode, you can find it over there. Till next week, all I have to say is thank you for watching. Peace.